Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of One for the Road. This uh, weekend we'll be heading out to Milford Sound. If the weather's any good tomorrow, I'll be uh, heading to the Catlins for a fish. And then on Sunday we're going to take the kids to Queen's Park for a bit of a play. Uh, they don't know what's going on, so we're looking forward to it. And uh, hopefully we have a cracking weekend. We'll see you out there. Morning guys, um, we're just leaving Invercargill, we're heading up to Milford Sound today, so that'll be cool, kids have never been, neither's Jill, last time I went I would have been uh, probably 12, so almost 20 years ago now since I've been out there, so a lot's changed I'd say, um, so yeah we're just, we're just cruising out now, it's, they say between 3 to 4 hours drive depending on traffic and road conditions. So we've given ourselves a good four hours to get there. Um, we're gonna do a couple of stops along the way. Um, and yeah, the sun's not up yet. It's seven o'clock, um, probably another hour until the sun comes up down here. And then um, we'll be into it. So plenty of footage to come. Halfway between Invercargill and Queenstown, perfect place to stop. There's free camping, there's parks as you can see. First day of winter, so it is a bit cold. Absolutely beautiful. Lovely place to stop if you're ever in Southland. Guys, we've just had a quick stop at uh, the Key. It's a little township, uh, yeah, called the Key. Uh, it's between Lumsden and Tiarnow. It's pretty much just a little school um, and a river. I, I fished here a couple of months back when it was a bit warmer, and um, yeah, it was it was really cool. The trout are pretty tricky in here. As soon as they see you, it's more or less all over. So it can be quite cool to fish because it's uh, it's quite tricky. I can't get across to show you the best part of the, the river today because I've got me uh, me grandpa slippers on. It's still pretty early. A little stream off the main river. And so much ice on the grass, slippery rivers. But um, I'll take you up here to give you a bit of a peek at the actual river. That's the main creek over the top there. Beautiful scenery here. Um, got the mountains in the background. Little creek here, main river in the background. And, uh, just gorgeous. So good. We're going on the cruise boat. We're gonna go on a cruise boat at Milford Sound and it's hopefully gonna be really fun because we might see some dolphins and, and some sharks. And then he thinks we might see some sharks. But apart from that, it's hopefully going to be the best day of my life. I cut my finger last year. Jed also cut his finger the other day. So, been intense. So we've just got to Milford Sound, cruise along, just parked up, heading over to the cruise boats, going on a cruise this morning. So 
pretty excited stuff. What do you reckon, Zach? Mm -hmm. Nice. Definitely. Pretty cold this morning, time. isn't it? First time. Yeah. yeah. Nice and cold. Pretty what do you reckon, cold. Mum? She's frozen. She is and then frozen. And Jed's just running along over there. He's gone. Um, it's pretty cool coming through. You go, you drive like under the mountain, through a tunnel, whatnot. But this place is just beautiful. Check that out. Yeah, so pretty awesome. Love it. Southland. I'm 
going to be making my way uh, southeast today out to the Catlins. I'm going to uh, hit up some waterfalls and um, fish some little rock pools. Now, I've heard some pretty cool stories about the brown trout up in there. It's pretty amazing that they get there in the first place considering high up, how high up it is. Uh, the colours on them are supposed to be pretty spectacular. They reckon you won't see brown trout anywhere like it in the world, the colours that these little fish get. So I've um, got some super light gear, some small lures. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to hit up some rock pools out by the Catlins and uh, see if we can't get some pretty cool footage for you and um, I'll see you out there. Alright guys, we're just at um, our first spot. First lot of uh, rock pools and waterfalls. Just cruising through this beautiful rainforest. Not that deep into it yet, but it's starting to get pretty nice. It is beautiful. This is bloody awesome. Check this out. Yes, go! Oh yes, I'm on! I'm on! <laughs> Woo. Oh yes! Oh, it's a beautiful trout! Look at that! Come here! Look at the colours on that! One of the most beautiful fish I've ever caught. Have a look at the bloody colours of this. Rainbow trout. Look at that! Look at the pink red dots. Absolutely stunning. I hope that's capturing everything that it is because that is just a beautiful fish look at the colors i'm gonna let him go off you go mate oh, and he's away <laughs> oh that was bloody awesome <laughs> have a look at the water that we're fishing in i hope the head headset got all that but have a look at this water tiny rapids up there just there's so much water coming down and I got him just in that, it's probably four metres across. This is just beautiful. Alright guys, I'm just at another spot. I've just seen a little inlet. I'm gonna give it a go. The last video when I um, caught that little trout, I was that bloody pumped up about the colours. I called it a rainbow trout. It definitely wasn't a rainbow trout. You don't catch them over here. It was a little brown trout. But I think the colours just spun me out. It was absolutely beautiful. But um, yeah, just a heads up. Um, I don't like the look of this spot, so I'm going to keep on moving, but um, yeah, there's a brown, not a rainbow. Jill and I have both got the day off, so we've just cruised down to Queen's Park. Let the kids have a bit of a play and a run around. It's pretty awesome down here, so much to do. Animal enclosure, massive playground, probably bring them back down midweek. So we tend to try and get down here a couple of times a week anyway because it's, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> if you have any questions, any comments, just put them down in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a notification, give us a huge thumbs up. 
Hey guys, just got to Queen's Park. My favourite place, first stop, the animals. My favourite part of the animals is the turkey because it's really funny. I'll show you the llamas as soon as we get here. <laughs> llama, llama, llama. And then over the other side of me, we got the goats. So we just got at Queen's Park and we looked at the animals. Now we are going to the park and then we're going to stay for 12 hours. I just played on the park and guess how fun it was and guess how much minutes I played on it. One, I mean zero. And him, oh, he's just having fun in his own business. <laughs> but me, I'm so funny. So pretty much it's going to be great and see you all later and Make sure to do a subscribe on this video. Done. <laughs> oh, what a legend. Would you check out this kid? <laughs> What are you doing? In the circle of life. <laughs> In the circle of life. <laughs> What are you doing, Jill? Walking through Queen's Park to the Friendship Garden. Ah, Friendship Garden. Friendship Just garden. what we need. Right. Friendship Garden. Here's the whole pond, and I'm going to come in this little thing and I'll have a scene and show you what it looks like. Oh, it's wet, it's wet, it's wet. Pretty deep. Is it slippery, mate? No, heaps of grip. She's freaking out. No. And he's just like, easy as. Guys. Thanks guys for watching the very first episode of One for the Road. Be sure to catch us out uh, next episode. We're having heaps of fun uh, shooting all this stuff. So make sure you stick around and uh, we are One for the Road. See ya. Bye. Where are we going now? Hi. And what are you going to make us for lunch? Noodles.
Noodles and food. And broccoli and carrot and onion. 